you out there i'm not letting my cats down my cats stay with me when i'm here in the nighttime in my room they stay with me they stay with me but furthermore thank you very much this video is about my greatest baby y'all give me a second yeah thanks for uh, being patient had to settle down that had to tame the beast the mini beasts but as i was saying this video is about my greatest challenges and what i like to do is kind of have socratic discussions with myself about my greatest challenges it's something i like to do often i might have even did a video similar to this before but it's always good to do these often in my case well not in my case but more like what i believe in i believe in so i personally think that we should you know always try to like stay active we're trying to understand what we could improve and sometimes the greatest thing to be able to seek out is your challenges your greatest challenges now if you guys uh see how i'm dressed uh right before i go into there i was actually supposed to make another vlog but i just know that technically i just it's not the best time for me to film the portions of this specific vlog sorry about that guys for this specific vlog right now at this hour I am going to try to do it sometime in the morning time, which means this schluck, which I'm learning that apparently this dress I actually like. I didn't realize how much I was going to like it. I would wear this like casually, like I would go out somewhere and do this. And I'm almost in love with the lipstick. Almost in love with the lipstick. And by almost I mean I've never seen anyone do it, but I feel like that's enough for me to still do it. Like, especially since I put like the gold illuminator around it. Anyways. <laughs> But yes, my greatest challenges. So some of the greatest challenges that I thought I'd be able to share with you guys right now is, for example, I have a little bit of a challenge kind of um, following my intuition. I am someone who has pretty good intuition, usually. That's what I consider. However, I feel like I'm not very good at listening it, listening to it. Like, you know, that little gut feeling that tells you you should do something big or small. I usually tend to I always find myself in situations where I'm like, oh wow, I really told myself I probably should have done that or should have done this, and yeah. So, being, like I said, um, you would want this to be productive, now I'm thinking of ways to constantly try to figure out how to um, improve me following my intuition, and one of those ways is through writing, because I feel like if I journal a lot and if I write a lot, I can be able to kind of really see what works for me and what doesn't work for me and kind of learn from it so I can keep going. So another one of my greatest challenges is being normal. Sorry. It's trying to aspire to be normal. I do have ever noticed me. I'm kind of just like extravagant. Extra. You could say I'm a little different. But what you can't say about me is I ain't real. Because I give you all of me all right so with that said um with that said be my favorite words another challenge and this is one that just takes like i don't know really how to improve it the best like brain exercises i don't know but i have like a little fragile memory like i have a great long-term memory my short-term memory is i will like as you guys saw in my last video i tend to like just blank out sometimes in the middle of mid conversation completely forget everything i'm saying like that's actually why this video has gone where it just went it went from intuition to like having an excellent point for my second one to me like i totally forgot that point to like trying to see where i can go with it you know actually the the weird part was genuine too i Baby girl, you gotta let me do my video. To having, like, try to draw at a point to not really knowing what to say for my second one again. Ooh, I remember what my second greatest challenge is, and I actually shared a moment like this with uh, one of my friends, who I'm going to actually make a vlog about this really awesome uh, 
photo shoot that I did recently. So please stay tuned, both for the vlog as well as for the pictures coming out on Instagram. My Instagram is below, Iris L Glow Up. They're bomb, beat you, super lit. So you get ready. <laughs> But um, I remember at one point I had so much stuff in my hand I didn't even want to like ask for help but I needed help and like she looked at me and she was like do you need help and I went help me so now we got this ongoing like joke where it's like help me because that was like the true vulnerable moment where it's like you probably could have asked for help. Yeah as I was saying before I accidentally said my name. I probably could have asked for help, but I didn't. I kind of really like this hat. I know it's got pom-poms, but I really do like this hat. I know it sounds cheesy anyways. <laughs> I'm also an artist, guys. I do art. So, like, some of these little corny, like, you know? Like, they're not corny. Like, you don't know who I am. And I can do whatever I want. Look at this. I can get funny. I can get funky. I can get everywhere. I can get, you know, expansive. I can get whatever I want to be. Mm. But yeah. So, have you uh, grasped a great part of my personality? Oh, also, I achieved making something that I wanted to make for a while, which is um, lollipops. I actually made lollipops today. I know that has nothing to do with the video, but like, whoa, I made lollipops today. We're gonna like pat me on the back for that. They taste good too, by the way. Very good. Very delicious. All right, guys. This one's short and sweet, but I'll see you guys again sometime soon. I'll see you guys again soon.